one and oh my gosh i have been bitten by the halloween bug for sure i love halloween in the month of october and for those of you who don't want to wait seven more months like myself i am bringing halloween to the month of march with this super cute casual jack-o'-lantern glam look because why wait when we can just have halloween right now am i right so first things first we are going to prime our face with the professional by benefit to kind of minimize the look of pores and have a good base for our foundation which is next so i'm taking the l'oreal infallible matte foundation and putting that all over my face and buffing it in with the beauty blender then I'm going in with the LA Girls Concealer and just putting that under my eyes, on my eyelids, over my nose, and my chin, and my forehead, and basically just everywhere. And then you go back in and blend it away with the Beauty Blender again. Then I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I am taking that brown color and on the end of a paintbrush because that's what you have and that's what you gotta use so i am just dipping my the end of the brush in the paint and then just tapping it on my face and then i use the warmth of my finger to just pick up some of the products so they look a little bit more natural and that's how i create my freckles then i'm going in with the rcma no color powder on this morphe brush that i got in a kit so i don't have a name for it sorry but i'm just setting my under eyes and wherever you have the freckles you want to just dab it on instead of swipe it because you can just take away all the freckles but you want to set them since it's cream so you got to dab it and then wherever you don't have freckles you want to swipe then i'm going in with the urban decay primer potion and putting that on my eyes to prime them for all the sweet orange eyeshadow that we're gonna put on there. And then just set it with any kind of eyeshadow that matches your skin tone. Then I'm going in with this orange color from the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette, but you can use whatever kind of eyeshadow that you have because that is no longer sold anymore. But I start out with putting the orange on the inner and outer corner of my eyes and then bringing it into the crease to connect it because we're going to make a little halo eye. And so I just keep building up the color and then blending it back out. And I'm using a clean brush to blend out the crease. And then just go back in, add some more color. Then I'm going in with this yellow color from the 35C Morphe palette and I like to use my finger because I feel like the pigment is much brighter and vibrant when I do that. So just taking the yellow on my finger and dabbing it in the middle of my eyelid. Then going back in with the orange and diffusing the harsh line and making it super smooth and blended and amazing. And then I just alternate back and forth with the two colors to get a seamless blend. Then I take the same orange and drag it underneath my eyes. Then I'm taking the Balm Cosmetics Schwing Eyeliner and creating a little wing. Honestly, I love this eyeshadow look so much. I don't know why. Maybe because it's like Halloween themed, but... I love it so much. So I'm going to take some lash glue and put that on my inner corners. Then I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Glitter in Ice, I believe it's called, and dabbing that on the inner corner. And it has like green reflex, which acts as the stem of the jack-o'-lantern, so it looks pretty dope. Then I'm taking these lashes that I got from Walmart. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but they're actually so amazing, and what? I got like five pairs for five dollars, and it was amazing, and I love them so much. So with some lash glue, I'm just putting that as close to my lash line as possible. 
Then going in with whatever mascara you have to blend in your natural lashes with the false lashes and then get that lower lash line. Mm, we all know that feeling. <laughs> but if you mess up just like me, then you can just wait till it dries and wipe it off with a Q-tip later. It's super simple. Everyone makes mistakes. Everybody has those days, you know. So I'll quickly do the other eye. I think it's a pretty easy makeup look, but it is so killer and I love it. Ha, <laughs> get it? Killer, cause like murders and Halloween. Ha ha, I'm so funny. I'm just kidding, I'm so sorry. That, mm, -mm. Anyway, we're going in with the NYX Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel in black, but you can use just a dark eyeshadow and that would do just fine. So I'm just filling them in with a brush, but you know, I don't really do too much to my eyebrows since they're already super bushy and big and hairy anyway. So now we are going on to the lips and I'm going to be using liquid lipstick. So I like to put lip balm underneath to keep my lips moisturized since you know how brutal liquid lips can be. So, you can stop there and just have that super glossy look, but in the spirit of Halloween, black lipstick is a given, like, duh. So, I'm going in with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Weirdo Black Liquid Lipstick, and this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I was so pumped to do some Halloween makeup in March because... You know, Halloween is every day on this channel, and we need to bring the spirit back. So, once again, thanks so much for watching. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be pretty cool. If you want to follow me on other social medias, I will link them down below. Just want to wish you guys a happy Halloween, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!